I'm Jessica Jones, and I wanted to talk to you about rhythm, particularly using rhythm when you improvise. One way I wanted to approach it is to think about rhythm in your life, instead of just getting caught up in thinking about rhythm and how you need to play a swing rhythm or how you need to play a fast rhythm. Rhythm is something that's in you and it's all around you your whole life. The ocean is in a rhythm, walking is a rhythm. So it's more about tuning into rhythms than it is about creating rhythms. And if you listen to a lot of jazz, a lot of the phrasing and the rhythm from the listening will come into your playing. That's why good teachers always tell you that listening to jazz is just about the most important thing you can do for your own playing and for your improvising. I want to give an example, though, if you wanted to, even as a beginner, work on uh, creating rhythms so you aren't um, always stuck when you go to improvise. Like you could be playing a great melody that has great rhythms in it and then you go to solo and all of a sudden you think you sound really corny. So you can practice rhythms just like you practice scales and other things. One idea, you should use any, all the ideas you can think of. You should practice uh, exercising your imagination. I'm going to give you one example though. I'm just going to use a very simple rhythm. Do, do, do and try that and see what I can do with that. I'm going to be using the uh, concert B flat minor pentatonic and just using that rhythm. First I'll just try it on one note. Sounds pretty good by itself. But I could use it on a couple of notes. I could move it around. I could practice the scale in that rhythm. I could also develop it, which is what a lot of uh, improvisers do, is they take an idea and they develop it. One way to develop it is to use it as a call and to think of a response. So there I used it and I just made two different responses and it already sounds like I'm creating a lot of different rhythms. So it's not something you have to plan out, it's not something you have to write down or compose. It's just taking simple rhythms, responding to them and developing. I'm going to take a solo now and use that rhythm to start and then try ways to develop it. So that's an example of that. You can also listen and find this kind of thinking in lots of musicians, such as Sonny Rollins' solo on St. Thomas, where he takes a rhythmic phrase and develops it. Starts very simple and begins to develop it. A solo you should know, which is Miles Davis' solo on Freddie Freeloader on a Kind of Blue album. He starts with a very simple phrase and uses that to move out from there. So that's a, a, something I, you should try, and it's not hard and it's a very good grain to start from.